what's up dolls welcome back to the channel for another speed build or welcome if you are new here so today i'm building a traditional family home and it's also my first family home that i built in the new world of glimmerbrook or like my first like suburban -y type of build that i do here and glimmerbrook is one of the new worlds that we got with the realm of magic pack and i don't know you guys i gotta say like i am seriously so in love with this world i know it's small it's real tiny to be honest which is a shame but it's it's stunning it's so stunning in my opinion and i'm just very happy we finally got like a mountainy foresty type of world like because it reminds me a lot where i live in real life and you guys know i've been wanting a world like this for so long i've been talking about it in so many videos like for so long so I'm, I'm just very happy we finally got a world like this and i think this might actually be one of my new favorite worlds like apart from the size i really do love this world um but yeah anyway uh, i'm building this house on a 20 by 30 and it ended up as a four bedroom four bath uh, or i guess three and a half bath is more correct so it is a pretty spacious house and if you wish there is room to add another bedroom in uh, because you could turn the garage into another bedroom if you happen to need more bedrooms for some reason so i would say you could definitely fit eight sims in this house if you so wish like it's very possible to make this house into an eight sim house if that's what you guys want so if you play with massive families you're gonna love this house i think it's gonna be for you uh, or even if you don't play with massive families you have a lot of spare bedrooms that you could utilize as hobby rooms or something like that so there's a lot of space for you guys to do whatever you want with i guess uh, but usually my houses are a lot smaller than this uh, usually they end up with like two three bedrooms maybe so it's a nice change to do a four bedroom for once and it actually looks a lot smaller than it is i would say like it's a lot more spacious than it looks from the outside and as you can see i went for this red color theme for this build both for like the actual house and for the landscaping and i did that because i feel like red is very warm and inviting and i wanted this house just to feel very homey and also this red i feel is a great contrast to this world because let's be honest this world is very green there's not a lot of color in this world so i i wanted to have some contrast just to make it more interesting i guess and also to give that more as i said like inviting homey warm feel so that's like one reason as to why i went with this color theme but then also i feel like this red brick uh, mixed with the white paneling it's just so traditional looking and that's also like something i was going for so it just fit very well and i don't know i just really love this house even though i know it doesn't have like a complex shape or anything it's just your simple typical traditional home and I don't know i just love that it's very gameplay friendly too so it's something about it even though it's not crazy creative or anything i just i just still really love this house and i just have this thing right now where i enjoy making i enjoy a lot more making realistic looking houses right now rather than like super complex shaped houses that look crazy but sort of cool but i don't know i'm just in a phase where realistic is something i really enjoy doing so i really guys i really guys <laughs> i really hope you guys are enjoying seeing these more realistic builds too like i mean I, I do have some creative builds like i just built like a magic district in the sims so i mean that's kind of crazy but for my like suburban houses at the moment i really enjoy just making them as realistic as possible i guess i, I don't know like i'm not saying i'm gonna quit making creative builds but for my suburban homes like i i do want to focus on making them a little bit more realistic and um, gameplay friendly because when you have houses that have these complex shapes like they sure they look like really cool but they're not always that easy and fun to play in uh they can be very annoying to decorate and it, it sometimes it's just very odd playing in them and i just really want to focus a little bit more on adding realism to the game 
and I mean it is something I have done before too like I, I do a lot of community builds that are supposed to add more realism to your game so even for my suburban homes I do want to focus a lot more on that and not so much always trying to make my houses look crazy you know so yeah <laughs> I don't know I don't know I don't even know what I'm trying to say here but let's end this rant I'm sure you guys know what I mean even though I don't even know what I mean anyway um then another thing I do want to talk about before I'm done with this build is my real life renovations so I do have dates now they are gonna start my bathroom renovation on October the 2nd which is like really soon it's in like two weeks or something uh and that is scheduled to take about three weeks and um after they are done with my bathroom, they are also going to change all the floors in the rest of my apartment and all the walls. And I'm not really sure how long that's going to take, but I think we are looking at a total of like a month or more. Um, and obviously this might affect my channel. Like I'm still going to upload, don't worry, but I'm not really sure how I'm going to do things because I, I do kind of have to move. I'm going to move to my boyfriend while they're, they are doing the renovations. And uh, I'm not really sure how things are going to work out. Um, so I'm going to try my very best to keep like consistent updates. But it might not be as consistent as now. I, I'm going to really try though, guys. But if i miss an upload or two you guys know why and um yeah I, I just don't know much more than that uh but i just wanted to let you guys know that in about two weeks they are gonna start the renovations and i'm moving out and once they are done i'm moving back in so there's a lot of moving and i'm just not really sure how it's gonna affect my channel but i am gonna do my very best to keep posting videos and if you do want to follow my renovations uh, my real life renovations i am i'm gonna probably post a lot of pictures on twitter maybe i don't know if you guys are interested but um if you want to see pictures probably follow me on twitter at cyberdollyt um i did post my new floors and walls that i ordered so I don't know, the landlord was really nice and let me pick all the new floors and stuff uh, and they are paying for it, so I mean, <laughs> it's very nice. Um, and yeah, if you want to see pictures of the swatches that I picked, you can go to my, to my Twitter. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's pretty much all I know by now. And I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see how things work out, but at least you guys know what is happening and when. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we are pretty much done with this build, guys. Um, I'm just going to furnish the bathrooms and also the kitchen and the, the rest for this one. I'm going to leave it up to you so it's not fully furnished like most of my builds. But sometimes I just want to do these starter kind of houses that you guys can furnish yourselves. Uh, but yeah, anyway, if you want to download this build, you can find it on the gallery by searching for my username CyberdollYC or under the hashtags Cyberdoll and CyberdollYC. And uh, if you like this build, please leave this video a big, big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'd be really, really happy if you did. And um, thank you all so very much for watching. I really appreciate that too. And I love you guys all so very much. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Stare into the sun.